What are they saying about the locker room? Is, is it divided? What are they saying about it? Well, you, you, got, guys the guys? Tweeting, you got guys tweeting at halftime. I yeah, mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's one guy. That's not the whole locker room. You, got, you got guys tweeting at guy. each other angry, angry yeah. messages. That's a locker room issue. I mean, there, yeah. there's people that... When you don't do that on a team. You've got to teach right. everybody to buy in. There's a lot of issues yeah. there. Well, you know, it, you know what that is? That's an example of some guys he needs to get rid of. That's all that means to me. Those guys do not need to be in that locker room. They do not need to be at Texas. He needs to weed out. It's a, it's a continual process of trying to weed out the guys who don't belong and the guys who are buying in. Every head coach, first-year head coach, they go through something like this. Obviously, the situation down in Austin is worse than we imagined. So Charlie Strong, he has a, an uphill battle. But I think he is the guy for the job. If you talk to former Longhorn players, they will tell you, we don't have the talent and we don't have the commitment that we used to have. They believe that the guys there now are feel entitled. Like, they don't have to earn anything. As long as they're in Texas, they deserve it. That's the problem that he's dealing with right now. He needs to get rid of the guys feeling entitled and bring in guys who don't love, like football, but who love football. Something means something. Football means something to them. That's what he has to do. It. So I think Charlie's the right guy for the job. It's just going to be an uphill battle for him. Remember when he had his opening press conference and he got done and, and some distinguished alumni and boosters came out and said, yeah, I don't know if this is the, the guy. He, he's almost had to prove himself <laughs> to some in, in the Texas community from, from day one. And 